History of Indian Handloom The beauty and the variety of Indian handloom is legendary. The texture and the color with the most intricate of woven patterns and embroidery can leave the most anyone spellbound. Let's take a look at the history of this celebrated craft that is still standing strong in the face of many challenges and delighting textile aficionados the world over. Archaeological evidence traces the beginning of handloom in the Indian subcontinent back to the Indus Valley civilization. Subsequent Aryan settlers in the region adopted and further honed techniques of weaving cotton and wool followed by embellishing these fabrics with dyes and embroidery. Spinning, weaving and dyeing and other textile related art forms gave rise to a flourishing cottage industry. Indian cotton and Muslim fabrics were traded with the Roman Empire and Indian silk traded through China via Silk Route to the Western countries. Indian textile have been praised in several accounts by explorers and historians from Megasthenes and Herodotus to Marco Polo. The arrival of the East India Company, however, sounded the death knell for the Indian textile industry. The weavers were forced into selling exclusively to the British at extremely low rates, pushing them into poverty. The taxation structure also benefited textile imports into India from Britain versus Indian exports. The decline was further accelerated by the Industrial Revolution. Advances in manufacturing technologies flooded markets in India and abroad with cheap and mass-produced fabrics that Indian handlooms could no longer compete with. The freedom struggle brought the Indian handloom sector back to the fore with Mahatma Gandhi spearheading the Swadeshi cause. No other nation has something as basic as one's clothing or an act as simple as spinning cotton becomes so intertwined with the national movement. The humble charkha, spinning cotton and the khadi became a dominant symbol of self-reliance, self-determination and nationalist pride. Post-independence, the government of India took several steps to revive the handloom sector. The Parliament of India passed the Khadi and other Handloom Industries Development Act in 1953. The All India Handloom Fabrics Marketing Cooperative Society was set up in 1955 to promote sales of fabric made in handloom cooperatives. The Indian handloom industry today employs over 4.5 million people both directly and indirectly and is the second largest employer for rural India next only to agriculture. There are about 2.4 million looms of different kind. 77.90% of the weavers engaged in weaving and other allied activities in the country are women.